The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this uh, 16th day of November. And we've gone halfway through the month. Now we've started the second half. The Dow is actually, uh, I, you know, it's difficult to say, but the Dow is down 12 points, 9 points, 8 points, 7 points. At 34,984, just the buying keeps coming in. The S&P, having also yesterday made another recovery high in leg B, uh, went to 40, it's at 45.10 right now, up seven. Uh, yesterday high, yesterday's high was, I think, 45, was it 16 or 14? Let me just check. Yesterday's high was 45, uh, oops, 21, 21. And uh, leg be a little doji candle saying, hey, I'm running out of energy to the upside, need a bit of a breather, but we'll see if that's gonna happen. Q, 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 index 100, trading right now up, um, up 14 cents at 3, uh, 385.65. Hit 387.75 yesterday in leg B. All of these made their leg Bs yesterday. I think there's a chance that we make peak B today. Um, the market is just getting a little bit tired. And within that context, what we're looking at is the IWM. Really sharp move to the upside from 161 on October the 27th to yesterday's high in the 180s. And here it is at 176, down 2.13 at 176.63. All right, I need to talk about this. Well, let me do it right now. The small caps have been the laggards, the laggards, the laggards. They had a fabulous move to the upside. But the real issue is this. Is it still leadership? Look, here yeah, we've got Microsoft uh, trading at this particular point at a new uh, all-time high, uh, 376.07. We can take a little bit off after our in initial buy uh, back at 338. Um I keep wanting to add back. It's not pulling back. And it's breaking out of this cup formation in the weekly chart. And it's broken, as of right now, it's broken the uptrend, chap wave inside track repellent zone, this rising green, pink, narrow band moving to the upside. Um, it's I think it's still the... Um, the key, key stocks that are moving this market. Yes, you've had a broadening out. If you look at the, um, uh, it was the XLP, that's the XLP is the uh, select consumer staple spider. Yes, it moved up very nicely from the 65 area to the 70s. Now it's trading at 69. Uh, it's, it's, the broadening out is really important. If you look at ARKK, this is Kathy Wood, it's her uh, fund, the ARK Innovation ETF. Great move off the 33 level to the 43s. Now it's a trading at 42.18, down 83 cents. That move is going to be imperative to, to monitor. It, you've got to see a broadening out. For, you want to see the XLF, uh, which is moving up very nice. It's gone from just a, uh, the 31 level to 34. That's a 10% move. Um, the the charts are starting to improve. I need to see a broadening out for this to be a move. You cannot get such a spectacular move like you have in, uh, let's go to, I think Meta would be the one. Yeah, Meta is a good example. Meta making a new, uh, a new recovery high, not all-time high of 384, but this is now trading at uh, 329. This straight up move is saying to me that the power of this initial thrust from October the 27th to where we are today is extremely important. And you've got it because you've got the, the dollar in a sell mode in the daily, the sell uh, 
the weekly could very quickly go to a sell signal. I have to wait for Friday. I have to wait for tomorrow's close. But we talked about this, that the 107.35 high of the 3rd of October looked very much like it hit an inside track repellent zone with a doji candle. And then if it took out the support of the channel, you could get the dreaded H and would have to see whether or not it sharply took out the left side low. It didn't. It, instead, it made a lowercase H to a lowercase M with a retest of the 107 high uh, late October and then plummeted. Uh, three sessions ago, it just took a dive, and that dive took it right to the 200 period moving average. Well, in that case, you'd expect gold to be up sharply. It is up today, it's up 20 points. It doesn't look that impressive in the weekly chart, but I believe that if the dollar pulls back, the counterpoint is that gold finds some support. Now, I think the support that it's finding is completely. Not the geo, there's a part of it, but it's not the focus, the geopolitical focus that I always talk about. This is real buying. To see the real buying continue, um, look, yeah, it's ASA is always for me a nice benchmark. It's not the greatest thing, but it's a, a five, I think, five South African gold stocks, precious ASA, gold and precious metals. It's still kind of just stuck. In fact, this in Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone right here, I could raise it now a little bit. To say that's the next level. Oh, I'm having a little trouble. There it is. Okay. Right there. And it's just breaking out. Can't hold above it. I can call this an inside track. Let me just do my usual thing, which is uh, add another one. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, here we go. New. New parallel. Make that red. I'll make it pink just to differentiate it from the red chart. Okay, and make that green. So we'll see if the ASA is able to break out sharply. But look at the weekly chart, it looks terrible. So it's very selective. There's some gold stocks that are acting well. Hey, look at this. Look at silver. Hey, oh, silver. Look at this. 24.005, up 0.52 breaking out of this resistance level. It's gone just above all the $24 resistance level. Let's see if it can hold even the weekly chart. Now I can move this. I always like to be as conservative as possible. So I'm going to go to the outer wicks of all the candles right there. And I'll say, look, here's your, here's your inside track repellent line. And you want to see, I, I'd spoken about this earlier. I said if, if the silver contract can get to the 2475, 25 area, that is really impressive. And so far, this is acting well. Isn't it interesting that gold is, uh, uh, silver is acting stronger? Look at this. You almost got a propeller sharp, the one to one to the upside here. Um, be a little careful when I say that. But it is very impressive, right? So, as I said before, the whole metal area is differentiating itself from what I call the geopolitical gold icon. They, whenever there's fear, the financials getting crushed, you'll see gold come into play. Uh, that's the huge countries and major, major institutions that are buying uh, gold because they're afraid that there's going to be an economic collapse. That's not the case here. The XLF is holding pretty well. So with that said, the Dow's down 54. I think we're going to get that down day. Uh, the S&P is uh, up $2. Be right back. That's a chapter. We'll continue this. And then I've got a bunch of stocks that people want to look at here. See you in a month. Oh, crude oil. Crude oil right now is down three. Whoa, is that a smash? If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. The Gold Report As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hello, folks, we're back. And so just let me do a couple of things here because it, it, I like to do things that are timely. So yes, the one-minute chart. Uh, look at the beautiful synchronicity of the um, plumb line going from the left side to the right side. Um, in this chart, you go up to a peak F, <clears throat> pull back, and the chap wave peak A, B, C, D, E, F, G on the counting the peaks to the upside. There's never an H. You have to check out to see whether there's an alternate count. But it's got to an F, turned around, um, and as it was happening, I, I, I looked up because I was busy doing my newsletter. Uh, no, I finished the newsletter, but I had other things that I had to complete. So I looked up and I saw le leg D. And as I saw leg D, I thought, okay, look, MACD is uh, strong, but a very big turnaround coming. On balance volume was about to make a V-shaped, inverted V-shaped turnaround. So 2021, uh, sorry, 45, uh, where was it? Was it? No, it wasn't this one, it was this one. Right here. So 40, uh, 45.20 was the, a really good way to look at it. This is a short position or a sell. And it worked beautifully held the 200 period moving average, that orange 200 period moving average broke, and then tried to test it again. So I'm saying to myself, I thought this was going to be a really wonderful potential two-click session. So the, the the first click was just under the high that was made at about 45.22. That was perfect. And then I said, no, I've, I've got to get out because I've got many other things that I had to do. <clears throat> and all of a sudden, it holds this beautiful chap wave Inside wedge support. I usually may. I, I didn't even have time at, the, at that moment to to change the color. Usually I make it uh, orange, uh, pink with a dashed line, just to say that is called the Chapman Wave inside wedge target support line. And look how it held support, 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 and went all the way down to this one. It did not get to the exact level that I was looking for for 45.08. Moved to 45.09, and then it started moving up. Uh, at that point, I was just 
just tied up with many other things, got back to see this, and it's already getting this kind of oval pattern. But the green line moved positive, and it went all the way to peak A, B, C, D, and yet again went to E and F. Then I did the news as I was about to do the news. Wife yells out, Internet, Internet. She had a, 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 a Zoom meeting. I had to zip down to, to the We couldn't figure it out. I got my alternate count, my Verizon, instead of the Comcast. I got my Verizon special card called the Jetpack. I tried to find it and get it hooked up. And then I looked and I said, oh, she had it on airplane mode. And anyway, she got all set up. I got back here. Then I'm looking, and as I got back here, I'm seeing this bounce and the reversal, the dreaded H pattern. I thought, oh, this is great for shorting. I just, I was trying to set up for the program. Uh, I didn't get to it. And look at that, at 45.22, look where we are. We went all the way down. Beautiful. If you're looking at Fibonacci in yesterday's, um, in yesterday's uh, workshop, now you just show some really great usages of the, I've, I always put Fibonacci for years and years and years I've had Fibonacci. But then I take it off because at a certain point it looks a little messy to me because my other trend lines and things are working just great. So, um, but what he had said was yesterday there was a, there was a move in the uh, S&P to 45.32 was the number he was looking at as a retracement. But then if you use the lower low that was made, it became 45.30, which is the perfect place to short. So I'm saying to myself, don't forget to move your Fibonacci, um, uh, your um, right here. Don't forget to, uh, to move the retracement uh, lines. And I moved it up, and look how it's working yet. We're right to the 23.8 uh, level, and it's like trying to balance. Um, so I wanted to show you this, and I also wanted to explain. Some people have asked, why do you use that little inverted V-shaped pattern, the carrot? I use it because if I've used the down arrow, and it's gone from a cell signal to a cell mode, but then it has a really good V-shaped turnaround, it makes a new high, and it's about to fail, I put in the inverted v and I've used up my down arrow correctly because it went from cell signal to cell mode, yet this doesn't look like a buy mode. If it turns around, I very often put in a new down move to say that becomes the uh, new cell signal right there. So yes, it could be E slash A, but everything about it said eh, it's probably an E. So that's your second cell signal to cell mode, even though there's a nice bounce right now. This bounce could work. doesn't matter. If you're looking at the um, if you're looking at the 10 minute chart, that's a peak A because you went to a lower low. So that's a peak A and that's a peak B. There's nothing I can do about it. Technically, it should say, hey, however wild it is, you should make higher highs and higher lows to C and a D. Of just the only time this really fails is when there's a news related 8.30 uh, or 10 o'clock, a news related event that really changes the market. That's when the Chapman Wave buy signal to buy mode, which should say go to a D, can fail. So maybe this is one of those times. But anyway, I was looking at this and saying, you know, buyers just keep coming in. For for two weeks now, every single pullback has been met with a, with a very strong buy signal. And even my little benchmark here of Microsoft, which should have had a, it really deserved to have a pullback. Come on. Um, it is up over five dollars. So you just see buying going to the best of the best all the time. Now, with that said, let's just get back to the markets. I finished uh, looking at the gold, finished looking at the silver, the, the high grade copper. High grade copper is doing it's doing okay. It's gone to a leg D. The weekly chart is ah, oh, it needs so much work, and that kind of represents the overall. Uh, this is. Dr. Copper, they call it because around the world, when copper was strong, usually you got good international uh, economic activity. And this is just saying we really don't have that right now, so copper is not participating that well. Now, here's another thing that I want to look at. I wrote it down here, so let me just see where it is. Um, Thursday. Um, Queb. I had a question about Queb. I didn't do that yesterday. So I had already, and then I just forgot to mention it. Um, talking about calls, 
And today it's down sharply, down one at 27.68. And I keep typing this in, keep losing it. Queb is, um, now am I going to read that? It doesn't say Krispy Kreme, but it's got a capital K. Uh, Crane shares CSI China. Yeah. Crane shares. I'll never remember what it is. So let me just do this. Uh, here we go. Just ask a quick question. I'll say, Coweb ETF does uh, access the stocks leading internet. Oh, that's right. Chinese internet and commerce, uh, the ETF. Okay. So, yeah. So, this has had a very nice bounce. So, the weekly chart just is going from an H to an M pattern. Uh, and the 200 period moving average of 28.34, it's been, it keeps getting reversed right at that level. So the next time, if it's able to hit 28.50, there's a real good chance it's going to go to a leg D, and that'll be above 29.10. So with that said, we've got our break coming up. Dow's down 38. Buyers just keep coming in. s and is up 4.71. It is amazing. Uh, which is the reason why I'll explain in a moment what I decided to do. If you're going to miss something that you really want, I'll, the only way I find is to wait. I'll be back in a thousand Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more. And he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30 year T bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters Letters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks, we're back. Is that my specialty vending? TSLX? Yeah, TSLX. 
6th Street Specialty Lending, Inc. So I was saying before, so in a situation like this where the market really, the power of the move up from that low is the kind of um, what I call takeoff action that happens very rarely. And what happens is it's almost impossible to get in because it just keeps going and you just either have to close your eyes and grab it or, or the other thing to do is to say, I like very much, for instance, something's only in leg B. This is a good example, TSLX. Uh, this is called Six Feet Specialty Lending Inc. Um, <clears throat> what do you do? Well, the best thing to do, and this is what I did today with subscribers and with a new position that we wanted, um, something I followed for quite a while, um, and I said, this is not this particular stock, it's a different stock. I said, let's do this. We'll get a split position. We'll get it. Uh, just about where it closed yesterday. Actually, I wanted it just under a round number. It was above the round number. I wanted it just under the round number. And it's a split position. And then the position that I wanted, which was lower down, I kept that position. And if we just get one, we've split, split it in half. If we only get the one position, that's fine if it takes off. I, won't be, I want to be in. But I don't want to be losing it like I have on some others uh, on this big move up where I've, I've waited for a pullback, knowing that it was so hard to get pullbacks. It was just silly because this has like screamer at attitude. The screamers that we talk about when we get stocks under $10 and you just got to grab them and run and you take off something and you raise the, the stop. It's the way to do it. If it's some if something that shows an extra, like a rocket take off, take off, so that's number one. Number two is that wasn't the question. The question was um, TSLX Basel. Is this a breakout? Now, a breakout. There are many ways of defining a breakout. I'm going to use a little chat because it's not Friday technical Friday, but I'm going to use some of the technical aspects that I that I like to look at in the in the chat way methodology. You try to identify. Uh, the lowest low bar, you count E successively higher peak, you alphabetize them, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, seven higher peaks. There's never eight. You never get an H. There's no such thing. What happens is very often there's a recycle and you've got to find out what you what you missed or what you might have you might have to change because there's never an H. So in this particular instance, one of the things I'm looking at is look how beautifully this held the 200 period moving average, T S L X. Um, it did it for a whole chunk of time between May and June, July of uh, this year, and then it took off, and then it came back, got closer and closer, and then the closer you get to a 200 period moving average, boom, it's like a magnet. It just grabs it. Look how long it held over there. Uh, and, and what we're looking at now is that it used it as a springboard yet again. So that means that it's, a, it's in a buy mode because the stochastics are 95%. The MACD is strong. The price is way above the nine. The nine is way above the 14, and they all above the 50 and 200 period moving average. So I like this very much. So when you say breakout, I suspect you're looking at the left side high. And let me just draw. I'll just draw one line. I'll make it a rectangle, but a long one, right, look right across like that. I could have done it left side, right side, price time match to that um, high. I'll do it just to show you how this often works, and make it green and go went right past this particular high right there there it is and it went right oops it went way way past it uh, let me go to the right there it is it comes in round about the uh, 23rd of November and here we are uh, on the 13th or 40, 14th it's already broken out yes it's a breakout so I answer the question number one Number two, it's a breakout at peak B, and it should go to a leg C higher than B, and then a leg C higher than peak C, going to a D. Um, and the MACD is good. The on-balance volume is a little bit overbought, so you're getting this little bit of a pullback. But I like it. It's very strong. That's number one, and it's in the lending area. The, the weekly chart, look. I didn't put a down arrow. I just did this. It takes mo just a minute. In the two-minute break, I did the whole thing, the daily, the weekly, and the monthly. But look at this. From the low that was made back in uh, the beginning of October of last year, it's a year ago, it hit the 200 period moving average. Oh, it couldn't get break. And then now it's broken above it. Nope. It had to come back and retest it. 
But look at the green moving average. That nine period moving average never went pink. So I can't put a down arrow here. I have to put a plus sign. And I have no choice but to say that this new leg up, while it could be A, I'm just going to say it's a continuation of the previous high and it's E. And that just says, yeah, it's good, but you've got a, a chunk of uh, stuff on the left side that would be the next resistance level. And I'll do it slowly. I'll say that the first one is at right there. First one is at uh, 20.95, and the next one's at 21.09. Uh, but they straight line down, so basically uh, you could you could leap above that. So, and we're at with a high today of 21.07, uh, and the high two days ago was 21.21. So I like this very much. I like it's doing everything. What I am saying is that I suspect it is going to make a D. And then it's going to have a pretty decent pullback, either D or E, but it's going to have a pretty decent pullback. And then what you need to see is how does it tackle this whole area between 20.50, say, and 21. That's going to be key. Right now, it's looking very good. So I hope I answered your question there. The next question was, is it a breakout? The answer is yes, but it's a process. It isn't a breakout that says, wow, that's a leg A, and we're going much, much higher. It could happen. I'm being a little cautious. And just to show you what I would normally do is I'd say E slash A. E says, be a little careful. There's a weekly chart, obviously. A says, are you kidding? Every single pullback you want to buy. So I'm not there yet because I have to deal with higher highs in the, um, in the uh, daily chart. It breaks down if it closes under 20. It's a 21.01. If it closes under 20, it could be... Uh, taking its time before it really goes back to the higher highs. All right. So with that said, next question came in, and I believe it is coin. Was that coin? Three coins and a fountain. Uh, coin, 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 coin. Uh, yeah, okay. So the next question is, uh, coin, please, where would you get long this? Have a small position would like to add more. So C-O-I-N, this is obviously Coinbase. I'm typing in the wrong place. You type it right there. Here we go. C O I N. Okay. So, hello, anybody home? O I N. There it is. So, coin is, oh man, I've had this notated so many times. I don't know why I've lost the notation. Doesn't matter. Look how easy it is. I just go to the weekly chart, identify the lowest low ball. Always go a little bit to the left to make sure that you've got the right bar. Otherwise, you're busy doing the notation. Suddenly you look and you say, oh, no, that wasn't the law. I have to do it all over again. Not a big deal. This is A. This is A. This is A. This is A. And now you've got B over there. And you've got yourself a C right here. And you're making a cup formation in the weekly chart. Um, I'll be back in a moment. Dow's down 83. s and down 3. And, um, yeah, I'll be back in a moment. Dow's a chap and target. A gold report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Hi, folks. And here we are. We're looking at Coinbase, um, a global ink, and C O I N is a symbol. Trading down 251.95, uh, 60, uh, 69. So we're looking at this this cup formation where you had one H pattern, lowercase h. We went to a low, low. The 200 period moving average has been like a magnet since mid August. I mean, we're talking about months, and it just broke out in November, and it's up to it's up to uh, hit just about 100. Previous high was in the 112, 13 area. So normally what I would like to do is I'd like to show that this cup formation is formed on two U-shaped patterns. It's like, um, you can call it a lowercase h that goes to a lowercase m. And then there's a much larger cup formation. Okay? But you need to see the 9 over the 14, the price over the 9, the daily chart, you need to make the very strong. The stochastic has to be nicely over 80%. On balance volume needs to be up near the highs. Well, you've got everything except the stochastic is at 80%. It's kind of struggling. And you've got your left side high. Now, let's just say <clears throat> that I was taking this as the plumb line. I don't always take the low as the plumb line. You have to, it, sometimes it looks exactly like the number of bars on the left could equal a rally to a number of bars on the right to go back to that level. In this case, I'm just going to this level right here. This resistance I always like to bump up against what I call the Grand Canyon uh, wall at the back there. And then I type in, click, new parallel, change the color, and look what we've got. We've got right here. To check that this is good, what I would normally do, let's just imagine we're over here, right? I would go to a bar on the left side, a, a trough on the left side. There are particular ones that I choose, or a candle, but usually it's a bar. And I choose that, and I go to the right. And I see whether or not it's bumping into all the resistance points on the rally. In this particular case, it isn't really doing that, but I would now have to extend this out to here right there. So that would be my target. And the target is a high of this high right here on the 31st of July of 100.20. And yesterday we went to 100.15. 
and the, the, the plumb line that is the midline, midpoint symmetry, number of bars, I call it the left side, right side price time match, said that by the by the 21st of November, I remember I'm going back all the way to the 27th of July. You can tell how many bars this is, right? It's about uh, 180 or so, whatever it is. Um, and it missed, well, it hasn't quite got there. It missed by a few cents, getting, it missed by uh, five cents, getting to that level. And it's already made a peak F. Or a leg F because we haven't got the end of the day result yet. But everything out here is positive. However, what I would have liked to have seen is that the stochastic was at 83%. And then I would say, you know what? I think it's not going to just bounce, but it's going to tackle the next high, which is the high of the 27th of July of 102.73. I think it still could do that. But right now, it's just in a stalling. It's just It needs a breather. It's had such a big move. Now, is this an instant restart? Yes, this is an instant restart because within three bars, it went to a high, high off the peak D. So technically, in my mind, I don't have to put it in. I'm thinking E slash A, F slash B. That says it could still go to a C and a D. And that's the way you've got to think of it. So where would I add to it? <clears throat> I would add to it based on the weekly chart which says, hey, look at that fantastic cup formation. Can it go all the way to a new high with a parallel wave count? Peak C pulls back, holds the, the, the left side low. This is the original low right here. Remember, this is an A. This is still an A. It's a lower A, but it hasn't gone above that. So I call it gray A, gray A, lower down, gray A. But all of a sudden, it made a B. Now it's gone to a C. It hasn't gone A to B. It's gone A to C. Why? Because underneath it, I've got A and B. Here's your starting point. This is a little lesson. I wanted to do that today and tomorrow. Uh, I had so many questions. I wanted to show you some things. So this is the starting point. So every peak, your obligation in the Chapman Wave is just to count every peak and every trough, and that's it. That's going to tell you the story. So within that context, it says there's a really good chance that over the next six weeks, you're going to have a test of the 110 level. If this is still a leg C and then it makes a peak C under that, and then it goes to a leg D with that peak C, leg D, when it go, that's really powerful. It says not only are you going to make a leg C to a peak D, a leg D, that D is going to be way stronger. So it's a whole working process because it, uh, the, the monthly chart says, you know, I, I have these moves to the upside, then I take a couple of months to digest. So this is in the digestive phase. This is the this is the month going into December that says it wants to break to the upside. It won't break to the upside if it closes under 84.50. It's at 95.41 right now. So I'm just telling you that because of this instant restart. So that's the question. That's the answer. Where should I add? Um, you can add here at 95.40 because you're already in it. And you, you've got a little bit of room because you're looking to the upside with upside potential. So you're not cost, you're not dollar cost averaging in the sense that you made a mistake and now you want to add to it to, to break, get back to even. You are trying to add to your position. So I would to tell you to tell you what I would do. I probably let me just check the 120 minute chart. Uh, the 120 minute chart is in leg. It's a real bumpy ride. Look, this is like a U-shaped pattern. This side here to that high. Let me just put that in. This side high to that high says, I'm not quite ready yet. Look, much weaker technicals. No, actually, not that much weaker the technicals. Yeah, it says, I, I need, I, I would say to you, if you could get the ad on, have a little patience. If you get it on under 95, and I treat it as a small position that you're going to split in two for the add-on under under 95. And if it goes to 95.47, uh, something like that, give me a yell. I might say to you, now you can add the second part of that. Okay? And the first part, I would give it a $2, $2.5 stop. Okay? Okay, next question came in. Uh, I, did I get to it yesterday? Oh, Myrna. Myrna, uh, we looked at Myrna yesterday. What did we look at yesterday? So Myrna is Moderna. 
So Moderna, I had said some time ago, is that unless they've got something absolutely which really triggers a whole new buying phase, because they had the right Moderna biotech and the COVID just had the perfect, uh, perfect ingredients for that. Uh, but now I, I, they're working on things. I don't know what's happening. And what I'd said is, if you've got a long-term attitude that says, you know, I've done my homework. I like it. I think it will be back. It's been smashed from 497 down to 75. I would say a 425 decline, point of decline is something serious. Um, I don't see anything yet. But if you're looking to do it, how it falls or doesn't fill this gap is going to be very important. So just give me a yell for those of you interested um, during the MR and uh, next Tuesday. Just have a look at it because if it's gone above 79, that's it's at 79. I'll be back. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter, a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. So look at this dreaded H pattern, a very large H pattern uh, coming down uh, under the 200 period moving average. And as I said, I, I expected, I said to subscribers, we're expecting some kind of a pullback. Some of the entries we're looking for are on a pullback. One, we started knowing that there was a little gap up today after a really spectacular move. So we did it, two, two, two entries on the one position. Started the position, and we'll add to it uh, on a pullback uh, at a certain level where I really wanted to get in. Uh, just in case things suddenly take off, which they've done so often. So a quick a question came in 
I, oh, have I forgotten something that I was looking at? Let me just check here. Um, oh, yeah, so that was Myrna. So the, another question is, uh, uh, Basil, uh, why is uranium still working with the energy sector so weak? So I, I was asked about the XLE, and I said, I, I didn't really think it was a, a short position. Oh, wrong, wrong chart. Yeah, easy. And two, three, and there. Uh, let me just say on the um, on the on the market, if by after 115 or 130 today the Dow's down more than 60, there's a good chance that we're going to we're going to uh, make a, 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 um, a negative close. Uh, if it's holding over plus 40s or 50s, that is really impressive. But I think that we we're in a digestive phase. So the question came in about the um, look CCJ. CCJ has had a spectacular move. CCJ. Right there, CCJ, get it out of there quickly. Yeah, so CCJ is making an all-time had made an all-time high a few days ago, holding about well at 43.37. Kamiko, uranium, and yet the XLE is pulling back. XLE is pulling back. Well, the reason why the XLE is pulling back with oil and everything now, what I'd said was I wasn't sure about shorting it, but definitely the 1881 area is going to be some kind of a target. It's an 8274. If it goes under that, that's pretty serious stuff. So within that context, yeah, um, the uranium has done quite nicely and is holding very well. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Check out my opening call, Daily News Day.